What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, this time it's gonna be on some of the men oils colognes that I love. I uh, just wanna kind of share with y'all, whatever you know. And um, this is just a few of some of the ones I wear. Uh, matter of fact, this is seven of the ones I love to wear on a daily -day, day basis. You know, I got so many of I got a lot of them that I wear, but this, this seven of them I picked out to share with y'all for a little segment. Alright, start it off. It's going to be, this is Dorsey, Dorsey and Cabana. Light, this is light blue type. Uh, I said this is Dorsey and Cabana light blue type for men. It's a good kind of quiet type scent. Um, great longevity on all the oils. Good projection. Man, open up. See that what it smells like. I don't think I wanted this one too much. As you can see, it's four here. Let's see, it smells good though. It's kind of got the kind of woodsy, uh, quiet, quiet like uh Kind of misty ocean type smell. Good scent though. Uh, I don't think I warned this too much, but I got it. Uh, I think I maybe rolled it on one good time. I'm not sure, but the bottle is full as you can see. Uh, it's a good scent though. Once again, it's Dorsey and Cabana Light Blue. I got that in the spray too. I got the uh, knockoff version of it. I know I like the spray pretty good, but the oils this still seem to be a little bit on the strong side. No, I can't say you know, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I wore this one too much. Uh, you know, it just kind of just kind of sit around. You know, it just sit there. You know? I can't really say. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Uh, the next one up. This is Michael Jordan. 23. Uh, this is a pretty good, what is it, grassy type scent. It's got it's kind of like a T note that I like, kind of like in here. I wore this one a little bit. Yeah, this smells really good right here. Strong, good longevity on it. Like I said, all the oils, you know, kind of grassy, whizzy type smell. Uh, those of you I know what y'all know what Michael Jordan 23 smells like. Good scent. Pretty good longevity. Especially in the oils. I got the sprays also. The Michael Jordan 23 and the cologne spray. And um, it smells pretty good also. Doesn't last as long in the spray, you know, but it do, it lasts better in the uh, oils. So, so basically, you no. Know, that's why I went to the oils, because I knew the oils last a whole lot longer. So, uh, that's why I went to these. So, you know, like I said, it's great longevity, great projection on basically a lot of the oils. I ain't going to say all of them now, but most of them, they, they do. So, once again, it's Michael Jordan's 23. Okay, next one up is we have Polo. Black jeans. This one, no, kind of mysterious type smell. Uh, it kind of smell like cucumbers or something like that. Uh, it didn't hit me too well. It had a kind of funny type smell. When I bought it, I'm going to check it out again. When I got it, it, was, it, it smelled kind of... Let me see. I ain't top I ain't been off in a minute. I had to sit the phone down to open it. Hold up. I got it. Alright. This one smell more like a it's, it's Lenny. It's got a Lenny type. A Lenny musket type smell for this one. As you can see, it's still full. This one, I, I, uh, matter of fact, I didn't buy this one. 
uh, guy gave me this because I bought like four or five bottles from him. He threw this in, and uh, this one I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch much for this one. You know, it's once again it's polo black jeans, and um. No, hold up. I take that back. It's not polo black jeans. It's Versace. It's Versace black jeans. Made by Versace. And uh, I said polo. It's not polo. It's Versace black jeans. My bad. But anyway, it don't smell that good. I highly recommend if anybody think about getting Versace black jeans. And that's in the oils. I never smelt the sprays. But... It don't smell good, so guys, I wouldn't even bother. Trust me, it smell kind of like a. I don't know what it smell like. It's disgusting, man. The polo black jean don't smell good, so if the oil smells as bad as it does, I know the sprays don't smell that hot either. So I would just skip that one. All right, the next one up is John Paul Gutler jean Lamal type. Everybody know what Lamal smells like. It's better in the oils, much better in the oils. And let's check it out. Man, this got a good, you know, the coconut, you know, that uh, vanilla type smell. Salted chain. Everybody know what the ball smells like by John Paul Gaultier. All right, moving on. And I wore this a lot. Got so many compliments with it, as you can see right here. I wore this one about half, over half of the bottles gone. So, that tell you something about the Lamar. The Lamar is really good. It's better in the oil than it is the spray. This ain't last about two days. I don't have to dab with this a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Put a little bit on my wrist like this right here. I'm good all day. It's much better than that spray. Much better. And next one up, this one is Curb. Liz Claiborne's Curb type. No, my bad. I take that back. This is One Million by Pocket Rabon. This is a good scent. Everybody know One Million. Smells like great longevity, great projection. It's more like the club type scent. Matter of fact, I got no oil over here I want to mention to y'all also. This is one made by Pocket Rabanne. You know, everybody know what this smells like. I don't have to go into much further on this one. Pretty looking baller. Once again, it's one million. As you can see right there. Pocket Rabanne. All right, next one up. This is Diesel. This is really strong right here. This is Diesel type. Um, I think Diesel. Oh, it says Diesel only the Brave type. Strong, good projection. This is more like a winter scent. You know, I really, I wouldn't even wear this spring or summer or something like that. I would wear this mainly during the winter time because this stuff is really strong. I, I wore this stuff one day. It was hot about two years, two, three years ago. I put this stuff on this diesel. And, man, it was like on a summer day. And I ain't know no better, you know, so I was like, damn. Stuff like knock you out. It's like it got so cloying that it got back in your eyes. You couldn't see nothing and went up your nose. And I said, Dad, this stuff is strong. I thought this stuff was gonna knock me out. That's what it looks like. It's diesel. So you know, I, that's why I said I recommend wear that. This is this is a fall winter scent because in the summertime, this scent is too cloying. It will knock you out. I right? diesel. Once again, diesel only the breathe. All right, moving on to the next is Coco Mango. Uh, this is just more like a coconuts type smell. This is about four, as you can see. I not worn this too much, but I worn it. I think I dabbed it on a couple times. There you go, close view. It's Coco Mango. And uh, this is more like a, like what it says. This is like a coconut type scent. And, um... Mango, coconut, you know, it's, it's a great smell, great percent, great longevity. It's just a natural scent. It smells amazing. So, uh, that's another good one for guys to get. 
And matter of fact, I think that's unisex. Uh, women can also wear that also, I think. Okay? And that's uh, some of the the um, seven hour light. Now, I want to mention this one right here. This is a uh, love of God. Love of God. This stuff smell like back the black by killing. Kill you or something like that. I had a little sample of that before. This stuff is amazing. Once again, it's called Love of God 40. Love of God 40. This scent is so amazing. It smells like uh, heaven. <laughs> check it out. Let's check it out. Yes, it smells like heaven. And this also could be unisex. Love of God. Um, just a hell of a scent. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back and talk about that. But I just wanted to mention this one in this review right here. This is the top, some of the top seven that I love to wear. And um, except for that black, that black jean by Versace black jeans. I can't get into that too good. You know, maybe y'all can, but I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. It's too like a Lenny, um, it's kind of like a Lenny or musky type smell. You know, it's just, I guess I might could get into it if I can get used to it, you know, but for right now. I can't get used to it, so that black jean, I pass on that, guys. But I wear, it, but it's not now my favorite sense, you know. I don't, I couldn't get into that one too good. But in love of God, I highly recommend this one, guys. Pick that one up. Those of you in the oils like I am, get that love of God. It smells amazing. It's different. Even guys, I mean not guys, but even women. Can rock this love of God. It's love of God. Once again, it's love of God 40. It's a good scent. And uh, like I said, it smells like women. I think it's unisex. Women and men can wear it. And uh, it smells so good. I guarantee y'all today. Come back and thank me. But anyway, I'm moving on with this review. And I um, hope y'all like the oil scents I like for men. And maybe I think maybe one of uh, two of these is unisex. I think it's the Coco Bango and the, um, the uh, Love of God. Well, you know, the Love of God, I just want to mention this, but I'm going to come back and talk about this one. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channels. I thank all your viewers. I thank all the subscribers who watch me and, um, and the viewers also. And. And just comment any question, just comment below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright, thank you.